despite us being a big family, sometimes we open up a box of something frozen and we cannot finish the whole thing. As a home organizer, I'm all about saving space and being organized. So this is my favorite like zero dollar space saving hack. Just open this box of fish and we didn't finish it. By the way, I really do like this one. There are three left and me putting the bag back into the box and taking up like all of this space. This is not gonna happen, especially because I just did a Costco run today. I need all of that space in my deep freezer. I also do not want to put the bag in just whoop, crumbs. Hang on. Okay. I also do not want to put the bag in just like this because it has happened before where someone, I won't name names, Ben, has put a bag back in like this. And I asked my dad to make some like chicken nuggets or chicken fingers or something like that for my kids. And I came home and he had made fish because it was just in a bag and he was like, I thought it was chicken. I'm like, okay. So here is what I do to save space and avoid any confusion. This is also good if you're like worried about recalls and stuff and you wanna make sure you can always save the like barcode or whatever. I will usually save the cooking instructions just in case. I obviously know how to cook this. However, sometimes my kids are home and they're making themselves food and it might be helpful for them. So I don't keep too much of the packaging, just enough so I know what it is. Um, I am not gonna keep the barcode on this but I'm gonna keep the packaging and I'm gonna keep the cooking instructions and this is gonna go inside this bag. I don't know how all the crumbs got there, but it's okay. Anyway, if you're worried about like the box touching the fish or whatever, you're welcome to put this inside another bag. But anyway, you just use a chip clip, post up like this, and this takes way less space in your freezer. You know exactly what it is and you have the cooking instructions. Let me know if you find this helpful.